trying not to be a baby back bitch right now, but. Oh, keep shit moving. Let's go. Boom. Day three of the mini cut. And I woke up at 142.2. I didn't show it, but that's what I woke up at. Go into the gym and do the workout because it's a very, it's just a workout that has a lot of movement in it. So it's uh, some rowing, some row climbs, some plate from ground to overhead, and then also some sit-ups. So I'm gonna go in there and just move. Probably do cardio after just because I haven't done cardio since I started this little mini cut. So I'm gonna keep it at like two, three sessions a week. And yeah, man, so I'm just getting in there right now. Honestly, you didn't even feel like going. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna run or stay here. It just comes down discipline. We do what we do, and it's for a reason. So I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go kill it. So see you guys in a little bit. That was it for that workout. I don't know why, but my elbows hurt super bad. I think it's from all the pulling stuff. Last time I did rope climbs and it was a bunch of pull-ups the day before, I noticed my elbows started hurting. And then yesterday, two days back, we did a bunch of burpee pull-ups, but my elbows hurt right now. That was a good workout, it's just nice and short. Glad I even came in, but my elbows hurt really bad, it sucks. Still got one set of split jerks in, those actually felt really good, but not much going on today. Feel beat up, tired, so see you guys in the next one. All right, so, I'm trying not to be a, I'm trying not to be a baby back bitch right now, but my elbows fucking hurt, man. Oh, I need to Google whether they're not fucking CrossFitters, you know. Their elbows hurt and shit after a bunch of workouts. I don't know if it's lactic acid or what the hell it is, man, but anything with like pulling, oh, it fucking hurts. Ugh. Like it just hurts, man. It feels like, like a soreness. I don't know. It's like a, it's like that lactic acid feeling like you feel in your legs. Ah, oh, it fucking feels weird, but kind of good. Ah, oh, fuck. I was gonna do, you know, my normal three sets. I almost went back in there after I packed it up just to, to finish off, but I'm just gonna call it in terms of that. But I still did it. Honestly, the jerks felt really good. Seeing the footage on what I need to do and you know, seeing some you know tutorial videos, I feel like you know I kinda know what to do. Well, I've already known what to do, it's just practicing. Those honestly felt really good. And just trying to be more fluid with it. I'm glad that I did that one set that I did because I didn't feel crazy tired or anything from the shoulders. The shoulders felt fresh. We'll see how we feel later on. Honestly, I think it's just fucking lack of sleep because I woke up pretty tired. Oh man, and then fucking just being rushed and getting into class. I need to just be more disciplined on my bed 
times. I just have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I know it comes down to discipline on my bedtime and then waking up because I would like to take at least an hour, hour and 30 minutes to wake up, listen to some good music, drink my coffee, get my mind right, and then come into the gym and just crush the workout. So I'm glad I came in here and pushed it. I'm glad I did that at least that one set, but I need to freaking just listen to my body. See you guys next what? Look at these kicks, man. These are the Nike Metcons, man. You guys mess with the Metcons? These are sick. Just getting out of the car and I was looking, I was like, damn, those are fresh. All right, guys, so I'm doing a little bit of research and I'm pretty sure it's tennis elbow. I got out of the car, looked at myself in the mirror, like, damn, forearm's looking thick. It was the same arm that, oh, that I'm feeling this pain in, man. I'm thinking it's tennis elbow, thinking it's just like a little swollen. I honestly think it's just from a lot of pulling. I've just been doing it. stroke pull ups, been doing burpee pull ups, rowing, rope climbs. Oh, it hurts. But hey, you keep shit moving, we're still gonna be making those gains, baby. We're still making the gains on deck. Here's the meal simple, thick egg whites. Going to destroy this. Elbow pain. Would have believed that this little area right here is enough to take down even the toughest guys in the gym. Tell me what you can do to make sure it's up. This isn't the problem. The elbow has nothing to do with it. This elbow problem is a wrist problem. Compensation is what causes the elbow to take the brunt of your weakness or your immobility. Damn it. My freaking L, I'm still in pain right now. Your boy is in pain right now. So what I started doing was doing this little stretch. Oh, that feels so good, man. It's finally calming down. So both of them hurt, but not as bad as this one. This one's the worst one. This one just calmed down finally. This guy was on point, man. I've been doing a shitload of pulling stuff. Burpees, pull-ups, rope climbs, rowing. On one of the workouts that I was doing, toward the end I was getting tired, I wasn't doing my strict normal pull-ups. I was legit just, by the end of it, I was my, my grip had gone in close. I know I was just doing this to get up. I'm just like, what the hell is that, man? On my rope climbs, I feel it all just right here in my, like, this area. Like, not even up here, just like right here. Just trying to pull up and then trying to come back down. On the row, whenever I come back in to get that little extra distance, I, like, curl my hands in to get that little extra distance. So, I'm up. I fucked myself up. Now we're dealing with it. Just gotta recover, I know what to do, so I'm gonna freaking do it. But now that I'm on this like six or six week mini cut, it's time to get disciplined. We're gonna discipline every other area in my life too. That's gonna be the bed times, the wake up times, the get into the gym times, the warm up times, everything man, because I'm trying to level up, trying to optimize myself, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here. That video helped me. Thank you, Athlean X. Time to fix my shit, so see you guys in the next clip back. Today is Saturday. It's open gym at the gym today. So I'm going to take you guys through my little functional bodybuilding type of workout. Day four of the six week mini cut. I'm going to show you what I weighed in today. I weighed in at, see that, 143.5. But I'm going to go hit this workout. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Let's go crush it. This workout is going to be functional bodybuilding style of workout. I'm going to do a few cleans, a few Maybe deadlifts, we'll see. Also paired with some back and buys. So I'm gonna have about 45 minutes to work out. So what I'm gonna do is stay moving. 15 to 30 seconds rest max. Probably four to five exercises. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, welcome back guys to another voiceover. Can't really go wrong with uh, the Beastie Boys there. So what I'm doing here is just warming up my shoulders, getting them uh, nice and warm. Start off with a ski erg here, 250 meters. Warm it up, keep everything nice and warm. Uh, after that, I moved on into some lateral raises. Like I said, it was, it was a functional bodybuilding type of workout. It was a little short on time, so I just tried to keep moving. Kept track of my rest on my phone there. Just a little timer app, hit the lap button every round and it starts over and then I think I was doing maybe 30 to 45 seconds rest in between but from the ski to the laterals I think I took 15 second rest. Four rounds of a 250 meter ski and 20 lateral raises and then we're gonna jump into some power cleans. Honestly this workout was tough for me I definitely wasn't feeling it. Uh, my elbow started to flare up again I was just doing the best that I could to power through I was sleep deprived Lots of shit going down. Anyways, after that, moved on into a little hang clean um, EMOM. I believe it was five hang cleans, increasing weight every set, uh, and then rest the remainder of the minute. Obviously, just warming up here with the bar. I always like to warm up like this. So I'll do like a little deadlift without a weight, a little shrug, and then a high pull, and then I'll go all the way in. The reason why um, just gets me used to, you know, hanging onto the barbell and kind of gets my body you know ready to move 
um, especially coming off of that deadlift. There's just so much going on in these that I definitely just like to get loose and get warm. But that one's money for power cleans or hand cleans. Um, that too, just, you know, open up my, my lats, my shoulders right here, stretching out my lats just so I can get in that good front rack position uh, whenever I was going to catch the bar. That was money right there. The elbow again, it was flaring up, so I was trying to do that stretch that helped me out. So that's what I was doing there. Added on some weight. I uh, started off with 10s. Just did a few warm-up reps. I think I did like five. Um, and then increased weight. Moved on into, I believe that's like, I don't know, it's not 95, like right around 85 pounds. But just trying to get, you know, moving, trying to get used to the movement. And yeah, just whenever I add heavier weight, it just flows a lot smoother. Obviously right there, it looks like I'm reverse curling it, but it, I'm really not. I'm actually just trying to get the, the movement down and the flow. Right here is 95. It's feeling good. This bar though, I do want to talk about. This is an awesome bar. It's like a Olympic. So I just did three warm up sets. Now I'm going to do five working sets starting at 115. I'm just going to try and keep going up from there. I'm going to try and get as many sets of 155 as I can. So I'm going to be doing five hand cleans and resting the rest of the minute. So, Like I was saying, it's like an Olympic. Like it's a legit bar and it's thin money for me. I could actually hook grip, feels good. It's still 45 pounds. Right here I'm doing 115. That's what I started uh, the five minute EMOM on. Anyways, you see that? My my hands are hook gripped all the way. Money, man, I love that bar. And they also have the, I guess, I don't know if it's a competition bar or what you call it, but they do have competition plates. I just always use those bumpers there. Um, but I don't know, it's just, Bars, the bars make a difference. For me, it was a game changer. Felt really good. Um, and right there, just trying to, you know, get set and then go right back into the movement. Hit the little lap button, rest the remainder of the time. Try to stay loose. Oh Boom, get a good set position right there at the top and then just flow into it. Going back down. Trying really not to get stuck. I'm just trying to just cycle the barbell nice and easy. Stay smooth. Boom. Honestly, I really do like emoms like this just because I get to work on my form. Um, rest you know by the by the later rounds you're kind of tired you're kind of fatigued and it gets tough for sure but i always like to throw these in at least once a week especially saturdays you know just do some breathing keep moving all right guys so that's five the furthest i went to was 150 or 135 to my elbow so you saw yesterday's clip starting to flare up again, starting to hurt, so really don't want to push it. it. Hurts even holding this camera up. But now I'm gonna move into just um, some curls. I was gonna do some dumbbell rows, but I don't think that's looking too good for the elbow, so I'm gonna do some rear delt pulls with the ski. I know that's weird, and I've never seen that, but I'm gonna see if it works, and then some curls, so. Honestly, doing the rear delt flies with this, you know, it's not the most efficient. Definitely, it's, it's not the best, but hey, it worked. Honestly, I was pretty impressed with how it worked. Uh, did 20 reps on those and then moved into some curls. On the skier, though, just trying to keep it tight and just pulling hard. Obviously, on the way back, you, you it's not like a cable pulley at your normal gym where you keep the tension on the muscle. Here, it's more of just on that um, retraction. But I mean, hey, it did the job. I was pretty happy with it. Yeah. Okay, why do I like doing workouts like this? So the main reason why is because it incorporates a little bit of 
functional fitness along with bodybuilding, which I enjoy, um, some cardio mixed in with, you know, just Olympic lifts, some breathing, get a nice pump. You're n not doing anything too crazy. 20 of those rear delt flies, obviously it's not as like, there's not as much resistance as there would be with a normal cable machine, but it worked. So 20 of those, five regular bicep curls, five hammer curls, and then five just supinated um, dumbbell curls. So I'm gonna do four rounds of that. for the tension to be back into the ski and then going. Those are actually really good, I'm digging those. Right, guys, that's gonna do it for those. Now I'm gonna do split jerks. I'm gonna do three sets of five with maybe 10 pounds on each side. And as soon as I do those, I'm gonna do some rear delt, bent over rear delt flies, so here we go. Honestly, overall this workout was kinda meh. Looking back, I mean, it's still good. Um, but my elbows flaring up, I was just, I was just feeling sore, beat up, sleep deprived, but Still got it done that's all that matters again trying to hit these uh push press push jerks split jerks the split jerks looking horrible on that last video they were a lot better but here man look what come on man do better than that i don't know hey at least i was going for it and now i get to look back on this and you know improve on improve upon this So again here, I believe I just did a strict press, push press, push jerk, and a split jerk. Just trying to get better at those, man. I've been doing those every workout lately. Just trying to do the best I can. Um, but I also decided to do something after. Um, it was the bent over rear delt flies. What I tried to do before this was a lateral raise. No way, man. My elbow freaking just a sharp pain whenever I even try to get it. That workout. Honestly, I'm not feeling all too hot with my elbow, but tomorrow, it's Sunday, I'm just gonna take a complete rest day. Maybe just go on a run or go on a hike or something. But, oh man, I don't know, just not feeling it. Glad I still came in though. It's a nice little pump, so can't complain. But, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Still got a nice little pump. But hey man, that just goes to show, not every day is gonna be, you know, good workout, best workout you've ever had, so. Hey man, we keep shit moving though. Beautiful day outside. We keep shit moving, let's go. Boom, what's going on peeps? So, today is Sunday. Um, it's gonna be a full rest day today. I actually got like a 10 hour sleep, which was amazing. I've definitely been sleep deprived for the last couple days, maybe even last couple weeks, honestly. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta grind. So, last night I went to bed at a super early time. I was just sitting on the couch and it was like 10-ish, reading, my head was bobbing, I was already falling asleep. I think I went to bed like right around 10.30, 10.40, and just completely knocked out. Woke up, I didn't set an alarm or anything, woke up naturally at eight, and then I set an alarm for 9.30, that was like 10, 10 hours, so. Feeling good, and this is one thing I wanted to show you guys, which was my weigh-in today. Yesterday I weighed in at 1.40, 43.5 today I weighed in at 141.5 so just to show you guys that are on a cut or that that might be my client not to really pay attention to the weight but just focus on what you can control which is the training the nutrition the sleep not missing any workouts or cardio or anything like that uh, 141.5 I just go to show you, you just gotta keep doing what you're doing, trust the process, and just keep killing it. 
I honestly think the sleep, that might have just been from water intake, from sleep. Yesterday it was a good workout and then I did a little bit of cardio. I honestly don't know, just multiple factors might have come into play. I've also been super stressed lately, so that might have gone into play as well. And the fact that I did cardio yesterday, workout paired with good sleep and good nutrition yesterday. Honestly, my nutrition was pretty much on point yesterday. Another little thing I wanted to share with you guys today on my Sunday fun day was um, this passage from the Daily Stoic and basically it says that you are the project basically whatever your profession is you got to practice what you preach basically it says professionals don't have to justify spending time training or practicing their work it's what they do practice is how they get good at it, it is the working of those materials so whatever your profession is or whatever your you know whatever you want to do you got to take action on those raw materials basically plant those seeds and water them water them every day meaning getting better at your craft the gradual improvements and proficiency and that's how obviously you get better your mind is the asset that must be worked on most and understood best and that's totally true and this kind of is just like a another little reassurance to me basically mean you don't like whatever it is that you want to do kind of like create the grinds message whatever it is you want to do whatever it is you want to be good at um, just go for it and do it the best you can take action on it every day and practice 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 have that patience along with that and honestly you don't have to justify that to anybody because as long as you believe in what you're doing as long as you're taking action on something you believe in and you think it's worthwhile it's honestly going to help others then you have no reason to explain that to anyone else man because that's just what you're doing you're going to be good at it you're mastering your craft and that's a very very powerful and beautiful thing and you have every right to do that basically just like getting your mind right and taking action and practicing your craft every single day so that was really just powerful for me and just like another little reassurance of just a you know belief in yourself and that sort of thing which was awesome and I hope you guys take take something away from that as well and just implement it honestly right now as soon as you're watching this so that's gonna be that I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then go do some cardio right now probably a two to three mile run sweat a little bit and then Sunday so I'm gonna go church with my family just enjoy the day and then head off to work later so see you guys in the next clip